The Nigerian Shippers Council is collaborating with the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council to facilitate export trade. An interagency meeting with stakeholders explored how actionable procedures could be implemented to drastically reduce Nigeria's export process, processing timelines. If Unaya is, it has more. Participants in this multi-agency stakeholders meeting we are challenged to explore options that facilitate Nigeria's export processes as against identifying problems that have persistently hampered export trade. Agro-exporters, that the primary focus of this event, and that's why we have gathered other stakeholders, shipping companies, terminals, who play a role in moving these products out in a cost and efficient manner, because uh, Shipping, we talk about AFCFTA, but it's about export competitiveness and how can you be competitive? You cannot be competitive if the challenges are so numerous, bottlenecks, charges, that would not allow you to export in a timely and efficient manner. We've identified that it's now for us to aggregate these challenges and then address them. Because it's not just the tariff, there's also the process for getting these goods outside the country. Now, each one of, each, each government agency represented here will now need to go back and look at their processes. A paper presentation on best practices in export trade highlighted the importance of seamless export of Nigerian agricultural commodities. When MDS put all the requirements on the website, please do well to have all those requirements met before you submit. Because some of the challenges that when you submit, things that don't meet all the requirements, the MDA would have to tell you that it will take time going back and forth and all of that. And that would make it difficult for us to, to you know, track, track that timeline. The more complexity we create in the processes, the more documentation we create, the more shortcut straightforward as we move forward. There was a general consensus among the speakers that a clear strategic plan will be necessary to ensure a workable framework for boosting the nation's productivity all of us must come together and see how are we going to remove the obstacles to trade? How, how do we remove the number of uh, the time to export you know, at our port to the sub-Saharan average? They emphasize that to identify innovative solutions to address trade barriers, aggressive actions are needed to drive the process. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.